connect your Raspberry Pi to your computer using an Ethernet cable. Now, uh, it follows three simple steps, I would say. Uh, installing a DHCP server, running PuTTY, that's an SSH and uh, Telnet client, and using a remote access tool such as VNC Viewer uh, to access your uh, Raspberry Pi remotely. And you can use Xming, but here in this video, we are using VNC Viewer. And to download all these uh, things, links are there in the description. Now, as I have downloaded all these packages and uh, even unzipped them here, I what I need to do is to configure the Ethernet uh, settings that can be done in the network and the internet settings. Selecting the Ethernet uh, tab, change adapter options here at the Ethernet and change the internet protocol version for settings right here as you can see i have chosen the use following ip address given it an arbitrary address and uh, click ok that's fine right and now that we have configured our ethernet settings we need to configure our dhcp server so what we need to do is come on to the extracted folder of the DHCP uh, file and go to the DHCP wizard. Now the DHCP configure wizard window opens and click next. Select the ethernet option then click next. We don't need uh, all these additional features so just click next. And give an IP address that's in the range that was earlier given in the ethernet settings. Mm. Yeah, that will be fine and uh, click next then click the over overwrite existing files click next click yes and uh, all this would be running click uh, run DHCP server immediately and click finish and this server is running and you can click on continue as tray app it will go uh, un in background Right. So now that uh, our DHCP server is con now I can connect my Ethernet cable to the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, uh, it'll take some time to allot an IP address. As you can see, to the corner, an IP address has been allotted by the DHCP server to the Raspberry Pi. Right. So now I can use that uh, IP address allotted and uh, open party and give that host or the host name or IP address that's 192.168.2.100 and open my SSH client to uh, by default the login ID is pi and the password is raspberry now it opens up a terminal in putty right so firstly what I need to do is uh, install the tight VNC server for the tight uh, for the VNC viewer to uh, view the uh, data that's been sent from the Raspberry Pi to my computer. So to do that, I'll do sudo apt get install tight VNC server. Now, as a tight VNC server has already been installed in my system, I don't have to do it, but it will prompt you uh, yes or no, and you just need to click Y, right? So, now to run the VNC server, I just have to uh, write a command VNC server dash one, uh, colon one, right? And it will run my VNC server. Now, what I can do is open up my VNC viewer and uh, enter my IP address with the uh, IP address with the, the view window and just connect to it enter again the default password right you can see it's a whole lot mess here but uh, that's just the fact 
that this is your uh, I mean window right so it looks like a normal Ubuntu here our menu is there we got an ID for Java we got node red Python scratch Wolfram we got library office internet browser uh, and certain games right Minecraft uh, and all the stuff right so that's all from my side today Peace out.